Hello everyone, my name is Jake and in today's tutorial I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a super sexy text reveal in After Effects such as the one I did in my latest intro and here's a preview if you guys have not seen it yet. So it's basically going to be that reveal part just with the text and the bar going across the screen. Uh, it's fairly simple, uh, so let's jump right into it, shall we? So I'm going to fire up After Effects here and going to make a new comp, make sure everything's okay. And I'm going to go ahead and make a new solid. And that color is also okay. And I'm going to go ahead and make some text. And I think I already have everything how I want it. So I'm just going to type out whatever I want. I'm just going to type out Jake. And I'm going to center this text by going over here to align and clicking on horizontal center alignment and vertical center alignment. And if this isn't show up here on the side, you can just go into window and make sure align is checked. So now that you have your text, we are going to go into... With our text selected, we're going to go into Effect, Transition, Linear Wipe. And we are going to change the wipe angle from positive 90 to negative 90 and the transition completion at 100%. And so if we move it down to 0 from 100, you can see it just kind of reveals over like that. And so we are going to make a keyframe around 10. 400 and at about 13 or so we're gonna put that at zero and so now if we go and render that out we have our text revealed like that and it looks pretty bland and boring right now so we're gonna spice it up so I'm gonna go into layer new solid and I'm gonna make this Let's make it like a nice green like that. that looks pretty nice and we are going to if I hit S we can change the scale and I'm going to make this let's try two yeah it looks pretty good and 40 let's see yeah that's pretty good okay so now we are going to if I hit P we can move this over like so, so around there, and we are going to first change the rotation. So I am going to hit R for rotation, and I'm going to start it at negative 45 degrees, like that, and I'm going to put that at around let me just move that 10. I think, you know, I think we are going to have to move this back there. And at 10, we are going to make this, put a keyframe at negative 45 and put it at 0 at 15. So it should go like that. Yeah. Okay, and now we are going to hit uh, S and change the scale. And at zero seconds, we are going to make sh the scale, keep the two the same, but we're gonna change this 40. Actually gonna, before they do that, make a keyframe here, right there. We're gonna make this zero. And at 5, we're going to make this 10. So it should go like that. And we are going to actually want to move our rotation to match up with that. So it should go like that and like that. And we can move this actually back to 10 like that. So it should go like that, that, and then that. Okay, so now we are going to go to 10 frames and change the position. So we're going to make a keyframe for position. And 
when it's about there, when it's done, it's fine. We're going to scoot this over so it's around there. And just going to see how that lines up. And it's fairly decent. Again, this is happening so fast that it's pretty, your eye isn't really going to be able to detect that that line is not in front. So it should look fine. So now if we play it back, it looks kind of awkward. And so to get rid of that awkwardness, we are going to highlight all of these keyframes under our green solid and go into animation keyframe assistant easy ease. And what this does is if you have them highlighted and click the graph editor, you can see before they would have been linear, but now, like the position, for example, it is a parabola. So if we go with just our position selected, uh, those two keyframes, and go back into the graph editor, and if you want to hit fit all graphs of view, make it a little bit easier, we're going to click on this endpoint, and with shift selected, we're going to drag this until influence is at 100 on both sides. So we're going to do that again for this other side. And you should have something that looks kind of weird like that. But now our uh, text, or our bar, I should say, is going to slowly move, and then it's going to move fast, and then slowly out. And it's a bit hard to tell right now, but trust me, it looks nice. And we're going to do the same somewhat for our scale and rotation with all of the scale selected. Go back into the graph editor and we are going to click on this first one with shift selected, drag it all the way across as far as you can, and then do that one for this middle one and for this one and for this one. So it should be kind of like a snake. And so now you see it gives it more crisp animation and we're going to do the same thing for the rotation as well so it's kind of got a slight curve but we're going to move this so it is like an s type shape and now if we play it back it's a bit fast right now so what i'm going to do is let's make this let's make these 10 see if that's too much. Like that, and move these. No, hold on. Move these to 20. Move these to that. So that's, all right, so now let's see. There, a lot smoother. So you get that nice kind of fluid animation it doesn't look rigid it just it just really it's really nice <laughs> so yeah that's the tutorial that's all I did pretty basic uh, animating and after effects you can do a lot with easy ease it's pretty much any animators best tool in my opinion but yeah that's the tutorial thank you all for watching I hope you guys found this useful and be sure to subscribe for more tutorials and other After Effects and animation related videos in the future. See you!